Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. As you can see, I look a little crazy. That means it is time for a foundation video. So in today's video, I'm going to be comparing two foundations, the Benefit Hello Happy Soft Blur Foundation and the Benefit Hello Happy Flawless Brightening Foundation. So if you are interested in seeing the differences between these two, then just keep watching. I'm currently in the middle of filming an Instagram tutorial, so if you are interested in this look that I'm doing, check out my Instagram. Not sure if it'll be up yet. It's gonna be on there if it's not yet. But you know I had to stop halfway through so I could film this video. So basically what inspired this video was I filmed a full dedicated review on the Benefit Hello Happy Flawless Brightening Foundation. Last year I purchased the Benefit Hello Happy Soft Blur Foundation. So these are both from the Hello Happy line. They have super cute packaging but they are different so I was curious in seeing what the differences are between these two if you should buy one over the other I asked if you guys would be interested in seeing a video like that since I only talked about this so that is why I'm here and of course I'm genuinely curious about these so these both have one fluid ounce in them and they both are $30 the exact same price they also both have the same shade range so only 12 shades which is not a lot but from what I can tell from the Ulta website they do seem to have the same shade names and shade colors obviously the packaging of these are very different. I much prefer the packaging of the brightening foundation. It is a frosted glass bottle with a pump. The soft blur foundation, it's really cute and compact. However, naturally you want to shake it, but you really cannot because I don't know if it's just my foundation, but it, the product gets everywhere. I think this packaging is terrible. The only way you can shake it is if you take the top off and literally cover the nozzle. Otherwise, the foundation gets everywhere if you do it with this cap. This packaging sucks this packaging is way better so obviously very different packaging prefer this one so this is supposed to blur your skin and this one is supposed to brighten your skin both contain SPF 15 they both claim to be virtually undetectable on the skin this one says it will even out your skin tone blur imperfections with soft focus optical blurring spheres this one is for a brighter, hydrated, flawless looking complexion. This one contains shea extract, which is known to help smooth and protect skin. This one contains photochromatic pigments that instantly adapt to brighten skin in any lighting and flower acids to help boost radiance. It also contains hyaluronic acid for hydration. And then another big difference, this one claims to have a natural matte finish. This one claims to have a natural satin finish. This one claims to be light to medium coverage. This one just claims to be medium coverage. So this one says it's supposed to be really buildable. This doesn't mention anything about being buildable online. So basically, this is supposed to be brightening with a little bit more coverage, a little bit more satiny of a finish on the skin. This one's more natural matte, lighter coverage. So I do actually have these in different shades. I bought the Hello Happy Soft Blur Foundation in the shade 3 and the flawless brightening foundation in number 4 and I do want to show you what I noticed so this is actually the soft blur foundation in number 3 and this one is the brightening foundation in number 4 they're almost the same shade but a different tone what is surprising to me is the number 4 shade is a little bit more yellowy and I would argue a half shade lighter whereas the number 3 is a little bit more neutral so that's very interesting hopefully they don't look too different on my face all right enough jibber jabbering let's get the show on the road so i'm gonna start off by priming my face with the smashbox photo finish primerizer going to try and keep both as even as possible since i've been using this foundation more recently i'm gonna put it on first because i remember exactly what it looks like so i'm gonna do like one pump and i'm gonna use this side just apply it Okay, so that's definitely a nice medium coverage. Let's try the soft blur foundation now. Now, the consistency of the soft blur is much more liquidy, let me show you. So it's kind of difficult to see, but this one is drooping down. Um, and you'll notice this right away if you have both. The soft blur is going to be a lot more liquidy as compared to the brightening foundation. I honestly prefer it a little thicker just because it sounds messy and yeah this is strange the number three in the soft blur is like darker so 
immediately what I can tell is that the blurring one is a lot more natural it definitely requires some coverage to be built up to match the other side so if you like a little bit more full coverage you might want to go with the brightening of foundation so i'm going to give these two foundations a couple minutes to kind of dry and settle down and then i will really compare the different sides okay so i've given the foundation a couple of minutes to dry oxidize kind of settle into the skin now definitely the brightening foundation it looks a little brighter on my skin and I think that has to do with the shade I think the shade is just generally brighter with that little bit of that yellow undertone brightened the face a little bit more which is very interesting there's not a noticeable difference in the shades since I'm looking at it yes this side does look brighter because I think it was just a brighter shade interestingly enough the blurring foundation looks a little bit more dewy compared to the bright foundation the brightening foundation claimed to be natural satin the blur claimed to be natural matte so I was expecting this side to be more matte but that's not the case I think this side looks more skin like if you ask me whereas this one definitely kind of has more so of a natural matte finish compared to this side this side definitely has more coverage and this foundation definitely is a lot more blurring the brightening foundation i think is a little bit quicker to cake up um, and emphasize dryness on the skin whereas this kind of sunk into the skin it also is more smooth and less cakey on the skin because it's so much more thin so i'm gonna have to say right now upon initial application the soft blur side i prefer but i'm gonna go ahead put on the rest of my face makeup I'm gonna do the same on both sides the only difference are the actual foundations and I will be right back okay so I finished putting everything on if you're curious about what I'm wearing of course it will be down in the description box also the eye tutorial itself is going to be on Instagram so now that I've powdered everything I definitely think this foundation the brightening foundation is a little bit thicker and that's not a bad thing at all because that thickness almost plumps the skin in a healthy looking way whereas this foundation it's so thin that it sinks into the skin so it definitely this side looks more skin like but this side looks a little bit more perfected which is also nice so it kind of just depends what vibe you're going for I think definitely for more everyday wear I'm preferring the soft blur side right now but I love the brightening foundation as well this side also looks very good so both sides are looking good but there are definitely some noticeable differences between the two foundations it's kind of late it's five o'clock so I don't think I'm gonna do like a whole eight hour wear test but I am going to give it a few hours and just let you know how the foundations are wearing so I will check in with you soon hey guys so tis the end of the day all in all I've worn this foundation or I guess these foundations for about six hours I was hoping to make it to eight but it's just so late I gotta get to bed I gotta take this off of my face but I do have some interesting observations to share with you guys so just as a reminder soft blurs on this side flawless brightening is on this side so I'm gonna let you take a close look which side do you think looks better comment down below okay so the first major thing I want to point out is the blur side on my forehead looks noticeably much better than this brightening side I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up but you can kind of see some lineage going on over there I got a big forehead there's a lot of room for lines uh, but the lines are just way less noticeable on the blurring foundation now as far as smile lines go they both have marks but they're very small so benefit does a really good job of making foundations that don't really sink into these lines i would say the blur side is a little bit more noticeable but that's me being extra picky like they look fine i think that the brightness side looks a little bit more makeup-y but honestly i know this is a weird thing to say but i feel like this is gonna hold up a little bit better over time if i were to do with like some more strenuous activity just because this makeup is so thin on my face like the oils and stuff have something to grab onto here that almost makes your face look a little bit more moisturized which isn't a bad thing with the blur foundation there's not much room to get super oily in my opinion i'm noticing both sides about 
about the same amount of pores are showing. There's not any difference in that. But overall, I think that the blur side does look a little bit better than the brightening foundation side. But I think that's just the nature of the finish of these foundations. Because this one is lighter with less coverage, it looks a little less makeup-y. And this doesn't even look that makeup-y. Both of these are really great on my dry skin, which is the most important thing to me. My face looks good on both sides. I'm just saying, if I had to pick, I think the soft blur is better. But if I want more coverage, I love the Flawless Brightening Foundation still. So I love both of these foundations. And it was very interesting to test both side by side. Because I knew I liked this. And I knew I liked this. But what exactly was different about these? So in my opinion, the biggest differences in these foundations are this one is a bit lighter, a bit less coverage. So it's going to look more natural on the skin. This one gives you a little bit of more coverage. I said in the beginning this one I noticed a little bit more of a dewy finish uh, once I powdered and everything they both kind of looked the same so it just depends what you're looking for really I think they're both um, good. that was a fun little test to do I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you think below which one do you think looks better which one are you gonna pick out I think benefit did a good job thank you guys so much for watching this video bye guys have a good one